Okay, we're back. I'm gonna get this wrapped up and then I'm gonna log off. Uh, I gotta, I gotta try and get all these together so I can just post them as one. But uh, no, the uh, yeah, it's doing that shit. I wish I could show you, but it's, it's doing that shit. I'm hearing the sound again, but the video's just paused up. Well, anyways, uh, one of the things they said in that was. You had two other attempts to kill Kennedy plots that they found out about. And they all looked identical. They all looked identical to the one in Dallas. They, they had, in both cases, one of them was a Cuban exile or something like that. And the other one was another Marine, like, uh, like Oswald was. So they had these three people, Oswald and the other two guys, these these fucking people that they could paint, They were and they referred to them as patsies. But they had these other two people, and uh, the the similarities, they, they had at least one building that stood out as, as being exactly like the, the book building where Oswald was supposed to have shot Kennedy. And... Uh, it was there. It, it, you know, if it had happened, that would likely have been either that or they knew it. That would have been the spot where they shot him from, or claimed to have shot him from. And they both had areas where they would have to slow the car down massively to go around a really, really sharp corner. And the one, the the one that they did for the BBC years ago long before this one there was a guy that said they go this this route should have been rejected he goes you do not do that in a presidential detail when you every aspect of that is is like gone over in detail and he goes you generally would not do this where you are going to basically come up and have to take a sharp turn like that and slow down especially in that area like in every, every one of these three ones that place where you have to turn around you could have been you could have been triangulated on by gunmen. Not a lone shooter, but you you had easy spots where, in more than three spots, they could have had somebody laying in wait unseen to shoot you. And that and, and you wouldn't have been able to speed up until you got all the way through the corner. It would have been a turkey shoot. And the thing that gets me is when you look at what's going on in America with the with the January 6th terrorist attack on the Capitol. Rachel Maddow, I think, was the first one to break the story on MSNBC. There was like something like six, seven, or eight different states where they were planning these uh, fake electors thing, and she found out that like all the paperwork resembled each other. It all looked like boilerplate. It didn't look like the act of individuals. It looked like the act of a conspiracy, all working together. And that's what kind of clicked out on that. It's like, oh, my God, you got three attempts to assassinate Kennedy. They all look the fucking same. They all got the same fucking plot point. Uh, and, and those two, the other two were kept from the Warren Commission. They did not let the Warren Commission see those. They hid that from them. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a master. I'm not, you know, uh, Sherlock Holmes. I'm not a man. I'm sorry. You don't need to be for that. That clearly looks like there was an attempt to assassinate him. What for? I don't know. Uh, I, I think he could have been shut down because there, it was pretty clear that he was going to pull us out of Vietnam. The military and industrial complex might have wanted him taken out so they could get their war going in, in uh, Vietnam. And, like, you look at the Vietnam War, you look at the uh, second Gulf War with uh, Bush Jr. In both cases, you had military-industrial complex uh, industries going bankrupt until the war started, and they were flush with cash. And i got to wrap this up because the uh, timer just went off. And uh, it could have been because he wanted to nerf the CIA. Uh, they point out in that thing that the CIA lied to Kennedy, might have lied to Eisenhower. And he was going to basically, and he did at one point cut their budget by like 20%, but he was going to basically, I heard this before, he was going to turn them back into what they were before World War II ended, the OSS, and all the active stuff they did. They were just going to be reading and plotting and, and writing reports, kind of like uh, Jack Ryan, and those, you know, just write reports, give it to the people who make decisions. And they were going to turn all that stuff back over to the Army. Well, the CIA didn't want that. It could have been over the UFO. 
could have been over a hundred different things. But it really looks like there was a fucking conspiracy to get them. I'm going to end the stream. I hope everybody has a great week. And it really, I mean, it's it's not bad weather. It's, it's good, but it's just real dismal. Hope everybody has a great weekend. And I might do a Minecraft stream later. I don't know. Peace out and take care. If, you, uh, if you're on Twitter or Twitch, please follow. It helps out a lot. And if you're catching this on YouTube, uh, smack that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and all of you, peace out and take care.